When interpreting graphs, it is good to know what the slope of a graph represents, as opposed to a single point on the graph. The slope will indicate a general trend between the two variables being compared on your graph. But a single point will represent a specific relationship between these two variables at a measured value. This information might be familiar, but the trouble comes when we have to turn data from a graph into real-world ideas. For example, when we look at this graph, it might be easy to say that the slope between hours of study and test scores is in a roughly parabolic shape. From 0 to 3 hours, test proficiency increases, while from 3 to 6 hours, test proficiency decreases. It also might be easy to say that at this point on the graph, it represents those students that study 6 hours for the exams and then score roughly a 77%. What if you were asked about the amount of study hours that lead to the lowest test scores? Are you looking for a slope or are you looking for a certain point on the graph? Well, since we are looking for a specific amount of study hours, this will probably correspond to one spot along the x-axis. This is a good indication that we need to find a point rather than a slope. Since the test proficiency is lowest at this point here, that means that zero hours of study lead to the lowest test scores. The fact that your slope seems to be increasing on this side of the graph does not change that answer. How about if you were asked to find the range of study hours that are unprofitable compared to the rest? Again, are we looking for a point or are we looking for a slope? Since we are looking for a range of study hours this time, this means that we are not just finding one point along the x-axis, but a few. This is a good indication that we need to find a slope rather than a point. In this scenario, a negative slope would probably indicate that the value of your study hours are decreasing, because as you increase the hours studied, your test scores are not increasing as well. This would suggest that studying from 3.5 to 6 hours would be unprofitable for you. The fact that this point at 6 is higher than this point at 0 does not change this answer. So as you can see, it's very important when interpreting graphs to make sure that you are looking at the right thing, whether that be a single point on the graph or a slope.